Hey, hey. It's John Hope Ryan. I'm in the airport, running from uh, New York to Washington, D.C. I had to think about that for a minute. You know, uh, I talk about positive energy, but you may think I'm talking about like soft soap, like be positive because it makes you feel better. It actually does, but that's not my message today. My message is that today is negative energy actually kills you. Um, literally, it's bad for your health. Like, when you trade in negative energy, um, you see the glass is half empty, not half full. Uh, studies have shown that it actually destroys your health. Like, hypertension is up. Um, stress, when you're negative, when you see the glass is half empty, not half full, it spikes your stress level. Think about what I'm saying now. And when it spikes your stress level, um, you heat up. Uh, and when you heat up, remember that your body is 70% water, okay? When you heat up, you're cooking your organs, okay? You're prematurely aging. Uh, people say, John, how is it you say you look so fresh and you look, you know, so young, you're youthful. It's energy, it's, it's a perspective. It doesn't mean I don't have challenges and what you might call problems, but I do recognize they're high class problems. I, I recognize I'm blessed to have these problems, which in, which then changes how you see the problem and see it more as a challenge, something just to manage, right? But uh, if you don't have that attitude, if you have a negative attitude about life, and if you're basically think the sky is falling, uh, then you're gonna have a, a high blood pressure anyway. <laughs> Uh, you, you, you're going to have uh, hypertension. You're going to have your stress is going to kick. The number one cause for uh, heart attacks is stress, and the number one cause for stress, by the way, is money. So it comes back to what I'm talking about, and what we're doing at Operation Hope, the work we're doing at Operation Hope, which is so very important. Um, but this whole thing about your attitude is so important because whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're absolutely right. Whether you believe you can or whether you believe you can't, you're absolutely right. Literally, 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 uh, negative energy kills you. Literally. The number one group dying in America are high school educated white men. I know that's may shock you, but they're depressed, they're distressed, they 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 don't feel hopeful. Feeling hopeful uh, gets you through a hospital visit. Feeling hopeful gets you through a challenge. Get, feeling hopeful gets you through um, transgressions and disappointments and people who uh, will uh, sell you for a dollar. It keeps you from giving up on yourself and giving up on life. Uh, but it also keeps you alive uh, because uh, studies have also shown that people who are positive live longer. And those who are negative will assert a negative inner voice, right? die prematurely. I actually think that a lot of disease is dis-ease. A lot of disease is dis-ease. So we're energy folks. If you're not a human being having a spiritual experience. You are a spiritual being having a human experience. So I take toxicity and put it out of my life. I, I ban negative people and folks who have just, you know, Dr. King once said, I'm inferring here, I'm paraphrasing, that, that, that toxicity or fear um, uh, negative energy corrodes the container it sits within. So you don't have to do anything about evil people. You think it was talking about evil actually uh, corrodes the container it sits within. It will take care of itself. What I want you to not do is to join it, all right? I want you to step over mess lessons now. Step over mess and not in it. Over mess and not in it. Don't rearrange the deck chairs on the Titanic. The ship is sinking, but you can't be picking drapes. I want you to win the battle and the war. And if you have a choice, win the war and leave the battle to somebody else. You, somebody else can actually win the battle and you can still win the war. Have a perspective about life. Know who you are. Don't let anybody or anything define you and win. Let's go do this.